guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be showing you how to set up a sewing machine. This is going to be a beginner's video and this is going to be part one and we're going to start at the very beginning. And when I mean the very beginning, I mean the very beginning where there are no threads, the needle isn't even set up and it's not even on the table and it's not plugged. So, we're going to be showing you how to set up an S Singer MS60 sewing machine. Sorry, I, I said MS, I mean MX60. First, let's turn it upside down so we can see the bottom. Here is, here is it. If you want to make sure it's the right one. So, let's get started. So we're not going to insert the cable at the start, so like we're not going to plug it in yet. First we're going to set, set up the threads and put them here and then get started. First we need some threads to put over here. Both put them over here, the, the color is your choice. Make sure to put them in the hole, not in these like three ones. So once that happened to me once and I did not know what was going on. So first let's put them over here. We're not going to put two threads at the same time, it's only going to be one. First, I'm going to show you how to load this up with the thread. First thing is you put this over from here and then go down and up. The direction does matter, so if you go from another direction, it might not work uh, properly or it might not work at all. Then you go down, up, and right. And then you'll end up right here. Then you go around the circle. You see the circle right here? Around that. And then you get your uh, um, thread sample thing. I don't know what's it called. I'm not a professional, okay? So you get this. You put this from the bottom, right? Here. You see these bottom, you see these holes? Like there are a hole right here. There's a hole there. First you put this hole through the bottom once you get the thread and from the bottom you're going to spin this you're gonna do this anti-clockwise so so you're gonna do it this way you're gonna do it this way just make sure to do it a few times so once we're doing the real thing, you don't, it doesn't fall apart. Okay, then you go over here and put this down right here. Then you move this this way. Now you need to plug this in. There's this type of plug. There are actually two plugs. One, it's connected to the electricity. This is connected from the electricity to the sewing machine. So you put this right here. The way you put it does matter. There we go. Now that we put the plug from the electricity to the sewing machine, we're gonna put this plug to the electricity. Like so. You can also put this on a wall outlet. It's just we have this so it can reach our sewing machine. And this is a power pedal. You use this with your feet. So you put this right here and how much you press it depends on how fast something goes. Now there's a switch on button. You can switch off and on. Okay. So to make sure that uh, your machine is on, this will light up. Now I'll press this on and off button to show you that it switches off when it's off and switches on when it's on. There are two modes of this, so when it goes this way, it's a different mode, and when it goes this way, it's another different mode. We'll talk about that another time, but right now we're talking about this mode you have to push it to the right and when you do it will be next to this like cylinder this like circle over here this circle is so you can measure how much um how much thread is in your in your holder so make sure it like reaches to 
the circle. It doesn't have to, but if you want to, it's there. Now I'll slowly press the petal and you'll see it spin around and it will get filled with thread. you press the pedal the faster it gets when it reaches the circle you can stop like right now now we're gonna get a scissor and once it reaches here we're gonna cut the rope we have a special scissor just for um, cutting and knitting and sewing and stuff like that. I recommend having a separate scissor for doing things like that because if you do that, then the scissor you use for sewing will be sharper and you can cut things better. Now you will push this to the left and you can pull this out and now this is ready. Now I'll show you how to put this in its right spot before we can before we lock the top thread. So there is a there is a compartment over here. You have to you have to pull it out from the bottom. And over here you can pull it out. And here you can see the compartment. And and a warning, if you are going to put this, make sure the sewing machine is off. Right now it's on, so we're going to turn it off. Because this is connected to this, and we don't want any injuries happening. So to get this out, there's a little flap over here. You pull it, and then you get it out. So now we're going to get the, our rope. Make sure when you're pulling the rope, it goes anti-clockwise. So now we're gonna put the now we're gonna put the uh, rope container in here. Make sure the way you're the the make sure you're putting it the right way, not the uh, way where the it, where the thread went through the hole. It's the other one. When you get your thread, make sure to put it in this um, this crack right here. So when you pull it, in, you make pull it, and when you do, it will come out over here, like this. Make sure to pull the rope a little bit so it has some. Uh, it comes through. Now we're gonna put this back. You see this like strap over here? You're gonna put this strap in that hole. But before you do, pull this because that, it won't go in there if you don't pull it. So when you do pull it, pull it, and then it will go, and then you have your little strap right here. Now you can close this. It's okay that, it's okay if this is coming out a bit, it's all right. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to put this back in, but if you do want to put it back in, like if it makes you comfortable, you can put it back in. just pull it back push it back in I'm gonna put the needle in its place the needle are there are different types of needles there are like thick needles there are like little needles they're all used for different types of sewing but we're gonna use this one there is you see the top of the needle right here there are two different sides there's like this round part and there's this flat part right here we want the flat part to face the other way and we want the round part to face us so we're going to put the round part facing us and we put it up through this. And right here here is so you can loosen it. To turn if you want to loosen it, you put it this way. If you want to tighten it, you you turn it the other way like this. So this way your needle won't fall and now your needle is fixed. Okay. We pulled the rope out of here, as you remember we used it so we can fill up the other container. So now we're going to start from the beginning to put this rope back. You can use any rope, you could use this one, you could use this one, or you could use them both at the same time. So now we're going to get this white one, we're going to pull it a bit because it got tangled, 
Okay, we're gonna turn it. Cause there we go. Now we're gonna do the same two steps we did to fill the container. We're gonna go around the uh, this like little hook, and then we're gonna go under and up. Now it's in the hook. The second step is like the last one. You go under this and make sure it goes in this comp in this place. Then you go up, around, and over like this. Now this is a new step we didn't do we go down this like little like creek you go down 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 and if you realize while we are going down there are like these like numbers those numbers are the steps so like step three step four and they also have arrows to show you what to do like step three is go down and step four is go up like this and when you do go up you're gonna get this part right here you see this like cylinder right here you're gonna turn it and turn it and turn it if it does if this part does if something doesn't pop up here turn it the other way so turn it turn it turn it and now you see this popped up when this pops up you go up the from here the direction also matters so don't go like from here go from here and then around and then once you pull it it already goes into this like little hole over here now you will pull it down 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 you're gonna put it through this hook over here like this you're gonna put it from here and now you're gonna put this and this and through the needle hole right here you can put it when it's on too but i feel like it's more it's more safer to put it, it when it's off to make it easier to put through you can cut the you can cut it like this and you can make it wet with your mouth now you're gonna put it through you can also put this like a little closer it also helps now when you put it through it's up oh, it's more easier so once you get this make sure to put it through here then pull it it's safer for the needle if you pull it like this if you pull it from if you pull it from the other way like this or from the front that won't be that good for the needle it might break or something or it might get dented which is not good for sewing and then when it goes and when you put it through this the crack you will put pull it back because we want a little bit long so when you are sewing it doesn't it doesn't like get, get off of the needle when you're sewing now you might want to take this out to make it easier so let's take it out and then once you do take it out, you're going to open this if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to see how it works and you make sure you want, you're doing correct, take it out. So now you're going to turn the knob you used to make this hook pop out at the top. Now you're going to turn it when it goes down, 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 and then up, 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 and you make it go all the way up. And now you'll see it's like right here, like it's tightened. So now you're going to get this and then pull it a bit. Going to pull it a bit. Then you're going to get your scissors and use the non-sharp part and like pull it like this. And now the second rope, the second thread is out. Now you can close everything like this and then put this back if you want to. You don't have to. But if you feel comfortable with this on, you can put it back on. Now you're going to pull these two a little back. Make sure it's a bit long. It doesn't have to be too long, but make sure it's like at least um, this much or so. Oh, so when you're, when you're sewing, it doesn't like get out and your sewing is ruined. So that's part one. Um, in part two, we might show the sewing basics on how to sew. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and useful. So thanks for watching me. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.